They put Macho mm-hmm, Man mm-hmm. with a fishing pole, mm-hmm. but he's riding the sun, Ooh. and the sun's got sunglasses on. He's like, I'm fishing for a fight. 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 That's right, boys. Today's episode is about the cutest, sweetest, most adorable degenerate ultimate, Isabel. She has bells on her head. That's why she is a bell. Are you fucking serious with this shit? So I've never played an Animal Crossing game, nor will I ever. And I also normally don't like the zony, spammy projectile characters, but I was just drawn in by the way. And honestly, she has a lot of fun tools to just troll people. Like the slingshot, her main tool, you just gotta go pop, 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 pop. Just lay it on thick. Isabelle is a precious pup who peppers and pelts powerless prey with pop shots. Annoyance is the name of the game, with a large variance in damage, she works for every percent she gets. But more so than physical damage, the slingshot causes mental damage, making you reconsider your life as you're camped and bombarded with a barrage of tiny dodgeballs. Hey, Palutena! Isabelle is a shih tzu! Why didn't you just say she's a piece of shit? Huh? Huh? The fishing pole, though? The fishing pole. My absolute favorite from her. You can just catch people trying to recover, or just throw it out in a neutral. People get caught by it, they always get hooked by the backswing. It kills pretty well, it's just a good all-around fun thing, and it annoys the shit out of people, which is what she does. And then there's the pocket. Mwah. Oh, beautiful. First off, it allows Isabel to join the Fuck the Mother Brothers Club. See ya! Oh, bye bye Oh, hey, Lucas, you want in on this too? Well, here we go again! More importantly, though, in a game with a bunch of projectile characters, it feels amazing to deny all of their fun. Stupid crocodile, give me that! Fucking blinks, give me that shit! Stop! That's mine! You don't get any toys! I'm a good dog! I get all the toys! And the return damage on stolen projectiles? It's just crazy! It even fucks up shields! Isabel is just an annoyance and a ruiner of fun. Kinda like actual small dogs. But she gets away with all this cancerous gameplay because she is a dog. I mean, just look at her! She's so cute! She got little work outfits on! Oh, she got a pink umbrella and a little fishing rod! This is fucking adorable! She's falling off weeds and turns. She's such a hard-working dog. Oh, she put an explosive missile in the ground. That's so cute! Isabel is packed to the brim with tools to help her out in battle. So, today's topic for a quick wrestling lesson is gonna be on weapons. Kept conveniently under the ring, weapons are a staple in wrestling. The loud impact of steel chairs. Come on, don't do this! The high-flying maneuvers from ladders. Oh my god! And for the 20-foot ladder! And so many. And a 3D put- Many. This is Monday Night Raw. Many. many broken tables. Along with kendo sticks, barbed wire bats, sledgehammers, brass knuckles, and the steps to the ring themselves, these weapons are used to enhance regular moves, finishers, and the match in general. Which is why matches involving weapons, no DQs, TLCs, I quit matches, ladder matches, and others are safe for main event matches and pay-per-views, but are sometimes used by heels in regular matches to creatively sneak in wins, or just to beat the guy down. Which makes you think, Isabel uses weapons hidden on her person. Does that actually make her more of a heel like Incineroar? Overall, I think Isabel is at the fuzzy sock tier for me personally, and I'd give her a rating of Wood Pet, Don't Play in Set. Thank you guys for watching, like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope to see you guys next time. Peace out.